how the valuations now look in the pharma pack. Well, you know, there is news that uh, they've bought uh, 1.3 crore shares in a particular small pharma company in the US, which is basically looking at how uh, different um, sort of drug uh, formulations can be sent or, you know, how you can use different drug formulations. So it's an innovative company where they've bought some amount of stake, $13 million. But if you really look at it, a lot of these stocks are bouncing back also because of valuations. And the chart rightly shows you that if, uh, you know, at the start of 2016, the Sun Pharma valuations, in fact, were at around 27 times. It's corrected all the way to around 21 times as we speak. Similar case for something like Lupin, which is now at around 23 times versus 29 times. Dr. Reddy's, which is absolutely flat, because remember that there were those USFT issues for Shrikakulam and two of their other plants, which had come up in 2015. So we haven't seen a resolution in 2016, and hence those valuations are absolutely flat. For Cipla as well, 34 times all the way down to 28 times, and Aurobindo, which is down all the way to 15 times versus 20 times. In fact, it is the cheapest pharma stock within all of the large, large caps at this point. And if you look at it on an FI18 basis, it's at around 13 times. For Sun Pharma, the valuation game now goes to FI18. And a lot of a lot of the analysts say that the correct valuations or maybe the valuations are going to be capped at around 20 to 21 times for Sun Pharma unless the overhang of the DOJ pricing issue plus as well Halol is removed quite decisively. So for today, uh, it's possibly just up because of the valuations and the reason that it's beaten down so much. All right, uh, Ekta, thanks so much.